Now, we told you at the time, of course, that Labor's housing plan was all pie-in-the-sky stuff. It was always a fantasy. Here's a reminder of what the government promised. To build the affordable homes that our country desperately needs and to help tackle our housing crisis. The ambition of this accord is big and it's bold. It's an aspiration to build one million new, well-located homes over five years. Yeah, that was a million homes, including the construction of 40,000 social housing dwellings. But as The Australian reports, no new dwellings have been completed after more than two years in office. Unbelievable. Let's bring in the Master Builders Australia Chief Executive, Danita Warne, uh, who's joining us live from Canberra. Thanks for joining us, Danita. This seems incredible that in two years you couldn't get a few houses built, not even any. Well, it'd be great to think that we could build some, Chris, uh, although I must say we've got a huge number of labour shortages, so there might have been some delays anyway. Uh, we understand Housing Australia will announce the first round of uh, those tenders uh, sometime this month. Uh, so, but of course, we've then got to actually start building. So it is going to take quite some time, the term of this parliament. Uh, nevertheless, um, something is better than nothing. Uh, and certainly we need to be focusing not only on government funded housing, but also increasing private demand well, well, as exactly. well. Exactly. I mean, we've got, uh, we've got record immigration, we've got a housing crisis, we've got a, a mortgage uh, stress crisis as well, as I talked about at the top of the program. But you're talking about tenders going out next month. And the ground is not going to be tilled. The, the foundations are not going to be poured on any of these houses till a second term if Labor wins the election. A whole term to get cracking. That's right, Chris, and certainly the biggest issue that's confronting the industry at the moment is about actually getting land ready for building in the first place. Uh, so, you know, we know we've got shortages of labour, shortages of resources in key critical infrastructure. So the delays we're seeing just purely to get the civil works before we can then start building is significant. And then, of course, once we start building, we need to ensure that we have appropriate labour. So this is not just a housing portfolio issue it is and it is not just a federal government issue it's all layers of government that need to stop the talk and start action and also we need to ensure that all levers of government are working in the same way as opposed to being inconsistent with one another well this is what frustrates me so much and especially with a labor approach to this sort of issue a housing crisis and the need to to get more homes built they come up with a big grand promise and a and a big new program and all sorts of spending and more laws and more rules and more funds. Surely the answer to our housing crisis is governments, as you say, at all levels, local, state and federal, getting out of the way, making it simpler to get approvals and simpler to actually get out there and build it so the private sector can satisfy that demand. At the moment, government just makes it all more expensive and slows it all down. That's right, Chris. Unfortunately, we're seeing building costs increase between 30 to 40 per cent. It now takes nearly double the time to build a detached home and another year in terms of a higher density building. And part of that is compliance and delays. And so we need to try and steam, 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 uh, like streamline the problems uh, and ensure that we get uh, building as quickly as possible. For us, it's all about planning, zone efficiencies, people and, of course, uh, industrial relations. We've had huge changes to industrial relations. Yeah, makes they it all are, harder. in many instances, inefficient. Uh, we've been very supportive of the administration of the CFMEU, but that's just the first step in that place. A mm. lot more work to be done to make us as productive as possible to mm. build those one million homes. And, of course, we can't forget this, the all governments agreed not just to one million, but 1.2 million at National Cabinet in August last year. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not hold our breath, but let's get cracking, as you say.